as many of you probably know by now, Pilot String Flight Simulator has been working on the 737 A380 remodel, and today I will be showing you what has been done so far. Recently, they completed the 737 remodel and we can see quite a few things already. In game, the 737 variant is the 400, as it is a shorter fuselage, has no winglets, and this older cockpit which we will find on the 400 variant of the real life plane. The variant being added will be the 800, which is the most popular variant. You have most likely been on one if you fly airlines such as Ryanair or Southwest. So far, the cockpit looks really good and it is very accurate. I have a feeling that despite this being a free plane, more effort will be put in as more people will be using it. You even have the flight directors and the autopilot disconnect switches under yoke. The next thing is this, the liveries which you will find hiding in the blueprint. I will warn you now, I will be a bit of a nerd for the next couple of minutes. I am a bit confused about some of these such as the Aer Lingus, Air Canada, Qatar and EasyJet. All of these airlines have one thing in common, they own the 737 but not in the 800 variant. <laughs> Aer Lingus, for example, had quite a few variants, including the 200, 300, 400, and 500, and EasyJet had the 737s in the 200, 300, and 700 variants. Meanwhile, Air Canada and Qatar both have Maxes instead of the older 800 variant. The British Airways livery caught my attention as well, but then I remembered that these belong to Comair in South Africa. This, in my opinion, is quite interesting and a little bit strange, but on the other hand, Ryanair never had the 737-400, yet it was still in-game. This could simply be an attempt at including more popular liveries for people to use on the 737, or a possible hint that we could be getting limited amount of variants, which is very unlikely. There are 26 liveries currently in-game, including Qantas, Qatar, Scandinavian, Turkish Airlines, Ryanair, Aer Lingus, Air Canada, American, British Airways, Delta, EasyJet, Air France, Condor, Lot Polish Airlines, Lufthansa, Korean Airlines, Jet2, Southwest, TUI, KLM, Air Baltic, Singapore Airlines, Thai, United, Flybe, and Panam. Wow, that is a lot of liveries. Nothing yet suggests the possibility of a cargo variant, but we are getting quite clear proof that winglets will only be on some liveries. For example, the Aer Lingus and EasyJet planes both didn't have winglets in real life, which shows us that these are probably meant to be based off of a real life variant. One cool detail about the Ryanair is that it has retractable air stairs just like in real life. That is a small but very cool detail. I did not expect this to be added to the game at all. As of yet, nothing has been started with the A380, but I believe that it will be started very soon as the liveries are now done. Similar to the 77, this is a very popular plane which a lot of people fly so we can probably expect similar levels of detail when developing starts. Thanks for watching, see you soon.